Hello everyone and welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over how to briefly use HTTP client and how to get a response back from an API. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in. So we need to create first an HTTP client object. We can just call it client. All right, now, now that we have that, um, we're gonna go ahead and make um, an asynchronous method. Because again, as you remember from the last video, um, we need to make a method asynchronous if we are going to wait for it to finish. Um, and it, if it might take some time, then we need to wait for it to finish. So we'd have to await it. And in order to await it, we would need to make the method async. So we could just call this um, public async. Um, actually, since it's not leaving the, the, the uh, class, we could just say private async task um, get to do items. All right. Okay. Oops. All right. So now that we've done that, we literally only need one line of code to do this. So um, we're going to be getting back a big string response. We can just call this response. It's going to equal this await call. And it's going to be client dot get string async. So this means that our response um, will be essentially parsed and converted into a string. So let's go ahead and grab my favorite mock API, which is JSON placeholder dot type of code dot com forward slash to do's. So this one, and I'll, I'll, um, I'll include this right here, this URL. Um, this one's very nice because it is, um, it's free and it's essentially just a practice API that anyone can use. So a um, couple of parts of, the, of an API is this is an API object by these uh, curly braces right here. And inside of this object, just like, uh, just like a class, is it has a, a key and a value or a property and a value. So that means that um, we can parse this and actually turn this into a class object, which we will do in the next video. But for right now, we actually need to just get this entire um, <clears throat> response to show up on the screen. So we have this response. Let's, um, let's go ahead and there we go. That looks better. Um, so we have a response and we're getting this response. Now we can do console dot right line response. Okay. So now we would need to um, access it. So we just do program program. Oops. All right. Now, program, um, let's do get to do items. All right. Now, it's saying that we need to await it. So let's go ahead and await it. And now we're going to get an error, of course. So we just make this async. All right. There we go. Now it's saying it shouldn't. Uh, return void, so we can just do task right here. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if we get a response back. And there you go. We have our response. Um, we have all of our um, JSON data back, and we're ready to work with it. So this is essentially how you can receive um, a JSON response back 
um, using HTTP client. It's incredibly easy um, with only one real line of code that we're getting the response back. So um, this is very, very helpful um, in many languages. It is definitely not this seamless. So thanks for watching. And in the next video, we're going to be going over how to actually turn, um, turn all of these into their own objects so we can then use them in our app. So thanks for watching again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.